What's the crack lads? What's going on? We are back with another review. This time we're taking a look at a player of the season Brazil pack, which features Suarez, Paulinho, and of course Janinho here as well as a left back. Listen, the packs at the moment, lads, in my opinion, don't really interest me, right? Because I've got such a beastly squad, I feel like the only players I'm going to be spinning for are players that I really, really, really want, you know, such as the likes of Collar or Cantona or any of those guys that I have, you know, I'm a fan of and I want to sign their cards, or else somebody that is just very unique and kind of like is a beast in the game that I could try. Now, when you talk about my Road to Glory account, these are the type of players that I do actually like, right? So on my Road to Glory account... I've got a very average squad. It's 100% free to play. I've never spent a single coin on it apart from the free ones. And this is where this is where these packs can kind of come in, especially for events, right? So we're going to take a quick look. We're going to start with Everaldo at the back here as a center center forward. A lot of these guys can have a really nice kind of hidden gem stats and player skills. Um, and I've used them quite a bit on my Road to Glory account. And as I said before in the stream a few times, I will be doing an Xbox stream as well and taking challenges from any Xbox fans. So if you are... Uh, wanting to get involved in that let me know in the comments below and uh yeah put your name in the hat and we'll we'll get it on but anyway these are kind of the players that i would use if i was going playing in, in events like that or co-op challenges or anything like that they're fun to play with it's always fun to play with kind of lower rank players in my opinion but judging these cards for the average user and what i mean by average user is i'm talking about somebody that's playing the game you know maybe four or five hours a week you know after work or you know after school or college or whatever it is and not you know putting 40 hours in as some people do and like to sweat right because then you need a team of epics but these cards that's kind of how i review them i review them for the for the for the average player right this guy is a big uh, a big kind of unit up front, but he's he's not that tall, right? He's a big unit with the finishing and the kick and power to physical contact, but I would say he's a bit of a skip if you do spin for him. I would also say that Pereira is very, very good defensively, one of the best center backs in this pack, but I just don't know, man, with the inconsistent form. I don't see the point of it. Um, you know, he's 27 years of age. He's obviously fairly okay tall-wise, height-wise. Uh, low pass is quite nice. Heading is quite nice. But to me, again, it's a bit of a miss. Uh, Joaquim, this guy here as a destroyer, he's another center back. And I'll tell you, man, they could have got him longer shorts. Jesus Christ, they're fair short shorts now. Um, but defensive awareness at 93 is good. Aggression at 86 is good. Jumping and physical contact. He's a beast, man. He's a real beast. Kind of reminds me of Timber. Blocker interception area superiority. Doesn't have acrobatic clearance. I feel like these cards are very well balanced. Like they do stand out when they have a couple of nice player skills compared to like, you know, some European players having everything, like having all the skills and all the stats. These guys can actually play really nice in their positions, right? So I think he's one of the picks of them, definitely. These for nominating contracts would have been really, really good. We'll do the top line first. As I said before, I never worry too much about goalkeepers. Um, you know, you can't train any of these at all. He doesn't have low punt or long. He does have long throw, but no low, low punt. And his reflexes are really, really low, even though he's quite tall. We also have the biter himself, Luis Suarez. And uh, I mean, listen, lads, Suarez is a phenomenal finisher in this game. I've had Suarez before where I played on my road to glory. I had Messi, uh, Neymar and Suarez up front. And we had a lot of fun with that trio, right? Attacking and you can score a lot of goals, especially in the lower levels, you know, like the six, five, four kind of divisions. Um, kick and power is strong. Physical contact is strong. But you need to play him with two guys beside him, you know, which I think a 4-3-3 flat or narrow is the only way you can go with Suarez here because he doesn't have brilliant height or physical presence in the box. Even though his finishing is good, his acceleration and speed are really, really slow. But he does have some good player skills, including a lot of shooting ones. And he's got one touch pass as well, which is nice and fighting spirit. Um, we also have Paulinho. So this guy, from what I've kind of read up about him, I don't watch too much Brazilian football, I'll be honest with you, lads. Um, you know, he's got really nice player skills, and I do like the fact that he has got one touch pass and first time shot as an SS. He does have sombrero as well, but he doesn't have flip flap, which would have really completed this player. Acceleration and speed is excellent. Balance is good. Type possession is good. This is a very well balanced card, and I guarantee you that he'll be a beast as a whole player. Finishing is really solid as well. I would potentially play him as an SS in a similar fashion to Dybella or uh, Del Piero, right? So down on this list here, just to, just to kind of talk about Cristaldo and uh, Bueno, these guys, in my opinion, as creative playmakers, they're just not good enough, man. Even though he's got soul control and double touch, he doesn't have flip flap, he has, doesn't have one touch pass. And of course, he's got inconsistent form, which is a big no-no for AMF. And also with Cristaldo, this guy's got unwavering form. He's got soul control, one touch pass, weighted pass, first time shot, long range curler, outside curler. 
It's a way better card, um, but his balance is really low. So, it, it, yeah, these cards are very balanced, man. They're not going to shake up the meta too much. Uh, we also have Evangelista. This guy is down as a whole player center midfielder, but he can play AMF as well. Inconsistent form. Uh, kind of kills this card straight off the rip because he's on C rating. Rest of his stats are pretty decent. And, of course, we have Janino and Suarez there as well. Suarez there at the end as well. Pretty decent left back. Good defensive capabilities. But that inconsistent form kills this card again. Even though he's got pimp pin on cross and an early cross or low loft to pass. And one touch pass. That's all you're going to be using with this guy is a pure cross. And that's all you're going to be using for him. And then last but not least, we have Tequinio Suarez. Uh, this guy's got pretty decent speed for a centre forward. Very strong. Very Hulk-like. Uh, kicking power is good. Physical contact is good. Finishing is good. Um, but that acceleration, balance, and tight possession just isn't good enough, even though he's got a nice mix of player skills. So all in all, lads, yeah, I definitely, apart from events, I probably won't be going for any of these. It's it's pretty much a weak selection. Now, look, when I'm talking about it being a weak selection, I'm talking about, you know, usually people that are not playing this game 40 plus hours a week or engage with this game, you know, even 25 plus hours a week. They just want a player and you guys just want a player that will slot in and be able to do you a job. So I would say save your coins to see what's coming in the future. But we already have covered the player of the week and the European club championship player of the weeks. So let me know if you want me to do the uh, Turkish league as well selection. I can. So just let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you're going to spin for any of these lads. Let me know.